All right, I think I figured out what happened. So, you see we have the, the rear end, uh, like the housing end here, and the housing end here. But if you notice in this housing end, look at, uh, it's very rough in there. See the scoring where it was grinding or rubbing? Well, what I did, um, I took this uh, paint roller. Anyway, I stuck the handle all the way through the rear end. Um, just to, and, and set it, and uh, I set it just where the handle the end of it was perfectly flush with this end, right? And then I marked the handle on the other end. Here's where I marked the end. Uh, so this is exactly how wide the rear end is uh, from the opening of, from the opening of uh, right there on that side to the opening over on that side. Then I lined up the axle. So, since, since this is where the opening was, I lined it up right with the bottom of the splines. Because the splines don't go into the axle housing. The splines stick out. So I lined it up right like that. And you can see there's less splines here. And then see the, uh, wish this would focus. Let's see if I can get this to focus. See if I can zoom in. Well, anyway, see where the splines are worn off right here? So, here we go. I lined it up with the axle. There's the end of the housing. So what happened is somehow this slid back into the housing. And you can see it slid back all the way till it met the housing right there. And that is the actual spot where it can't go in anymore because the axles touch each other. And that is exactly where the wear stopped. You can see it chewed off all the splines until the... Until the uh, axle could not go in anymore because it bumped into the other axle and that's exactly where the in, the rear end housing ends right there so those went that went into the housing and it chewed off all the splines so I'm guessing these axles are too short and that they were supposed to be meeting in the middle like that the entire time and this is actually supposed to be like an inch longer. Um, so that's exactly what happened. So, because you can see in the rear, I don't know if you can see down in here. I'll, I'll shine the uh, light. Yeah, see it goes all the way through. See that green over there is my truck. So, I'll demonstrate what exactly happened. Here's the passenger side. Let me see if I can do this one handed. Alright, I'm going to slide this guy in. You stand up on here. There we go. Okay. There we go, I just punched through the seal on the inside. All right, right there is where the splines ran down to. It's supposed to stop right there. And since it was too short, it pushed in until it made contact with the other side and, and it was spinning in there and it chewed off all the splines right here. So, that is exactly what happened. The axles are too short.